Okay, so you guys just had a big announcement. We did. Yeah, we're super excited about this. Obviously, today, just I don't know, an hour ago, yeah. uh, we announced that uh, Runner's Warehouse acquired Own America, and Own America is now Runner's Warehouse, and this allows Runner's Warehouse to really be 100 percent uh, full service, 360 degree service for real estate investors. And I, I'm on a panel, the opening panel. You guys should be there for. What's going to happen at 835? I'll be making the announcement from the stage. Renters Warehouse acquired Own America because Renters Warehouse is the leading property management company, mm -hmm. but they lack the sexy bells and whistles of a marketplace and all the transactional That's activity. Right. We got all the sexy bells and whistles, but we lack the actual operational grind capability. Mm -hmm. Now we're presenting this total solution. You guys sure. are going to have a new site to show off, which is going to have a Renters Warehouse mask on it, yeah. Yeah. which will be cool, but it'll work completely the way that our site works. Yes, our technology is fusing together and I've been using that word a lot, fusing to get fusing these two integration. pieces, you know, yeah. two puzzle pieces being fused together. Morning. Welcome to IMN's seventh annual single family rental forum. What we always thought would start taking place and it began to really show up in a big way in 2018 was the consolidation of businesses in SFR. So those of us that were out there building businesses to serve this trend, uh, looking around and seeing, like for example, Rootstock buying Streamlane, so a, a marketplace platform buying a property management company uh, this summer. Uh, Amherst, who started out as a major owner operator, who then did some really inter interesting things along the way, did something really interesting, launching Bungalow, which is an iBuyer platform. Uh, and then this morning, we just announced that Renters Warehouse, the leading property management company in the space, just acquired Own America. So Own America Marketplace platform is now fused with a national property management company. The combination of Renters Warehouse and Own America makes uh, us America's leading real estate investment services company, which means you can now analyze, buy, lease, manage, optimize, sell your portfolio, the whole deal, right? So I'm uh, super excited about it. We're gonna be able to merge an online experience, which we've been really good at over the years with an offline experience with these guys have been really good at. And when you're dealing with a financial instrument that's a physical thing, you have to have both. And if you don't have both, you're not going to be able to cut it in yeah, the I, world. So I think that's one of the most powerful things we're bringing, right? Is we've got the online marketplace, the experience that Greg and his team have built over the last seven, eight years, um, and, and really put together some great technology. But coupling that with our local expertise, our local agents on the ground, and all these markets we're in, it's transformative. Nothing's out there like that. I'm in start off as a small event with uh, very few companies. You've seen this consolidation of big companies and now it's going down to, to, the, to, to the entrepreneurial side. side. And like IMN being the place to do that says a lot about IMN and you know, those of you who have been part of this, you know, small group of people over the last what, six years, seven yeah, years? Seven years. Yeah, one of the things that was actually pretty cool, somebody who's on the larger side, large SFR investor said he, uh, well, mid-size. He's got like 150 houses, right, in the Midwest. And he said, so what does it mean? I said, well, what it means to you is that we're going to be activating a lot of small investors. So there are people that own one or two or three rental homes that are going to want to sell them, and it's going to feed inventory into the machine from an audience, from a market supplier that you never had access to before. And if you want to sell your 150 houses, this guy knows there's a good chance that we'd sell 70 of them. Right. And we'd have some left over. And if we sell another chunk of 30, right. but if we're left with 30 or 40 of them, we could then bring them out to the small investor market and pick them off one at a time. We basically woke up one day and said, hey, we're a, a, a puzzle piece. We're not the whole solution here. We're just one piece of the puzzle. We need to find another puzzle piece and plug in. And so what it's doing for us is giving us massive capabilities to serve people from the very beginning of the process all the way through maybe the 25 or 30 year process from planning, acquiring, executing, owning, operating, and then eventually liquidating. Yeah, and, and the part of this is, so Renters Warehouse today, we manage about 22,000 homes across 14,000 investors. We have this huge retail client base. And one of the other powerful things we're gonna do with Own America coming on is the fact that we can take all the data and analytical tools that the Own America Marketplace has and really push that down to the retail investor. Today it's really used by you know, mid-sized investors, small investors, large institutional type investors. Being able to take an institutional level data experience, I think down to that retail investor is gonna be transformative and something that, that no one else is doing right now. Right. It's just more of the space being institutionalized. Right. So the small investors getting the benefits of what everybody's doing. Yeah, level the playing field. Yeah, and small absolutely. investors have a big advantage over big investors in that they can be more local. They, even though they're gonna not doing the management, they can be more hands-on from the standpoint of choosing the neighborhoods, choosing the properties they buy. But it's also common to the people who stuck with IMN for the last six years, seeing the proliferation of all these big companies and now smaller ones, 
Talking about that because a lot of the smaller companies that are doing this for the first time hoping to grow, because we did, we started off small, we were entrepreneurial, we you know, paid our debt, we paid our dues, and now we're here to tell you that you know we're being acquired by a larger company and it's going to be this new thing. Yeah, I think in Q1 of 2019, we're going to start to have all of these tools available for our current clients, right? Yep. So when you log on to your portal, instead of just seeing, hey, I got some rent this month, here are my expenses, we've got charts and graphs and all sorts of cool stuff to talk about projections, expense, for what's your yield, how much money you're making, what happens if you add a property to your portfolio, what does that look like? And, and here's how you can add a property. That's right, and here's how you add the property and make that, uh, that experience really easy. I think we're going to see a lot more of that as um, as companies begin to realize that if you're only one piece, you're deficient and you're vulnerable. And so go find somebody to link up with and, and put a more total solution out there. It's going to be a household name in a few years. That's right. Cool. Awesome. Congrats, man. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.